five, four, three, two, one. This is the Doctor bringing you set two of STX Silver's SKT1 played on the 11th of May. Today we have Fantasy playing for SKT1 as the White Terran at the 7 o'clock position, and we have Shadow playing for STX as the uh, Orange Protoss at the 1 o'clock position. Fantasy, arguably the second best Terran right now. Some might even argue he's the best. I don't know about that with Flash being around and still performing at a high level. Whereas Fantasy, I think most people were, would agree that if not um, the best, certainly at least the second best uh, Terran. In fact, he won the last OSL, although the OSL has yet to start up again for some reason. And here we have uh, Shadow, a mediocre-ish Protoss player for STX, certainly capable of performing on his days when he are on, uh, when he is on, but. Not a perennial strong force or anything like that. Fantasy, arguably the best player, in fact, on SKT1. Uh, it's a debate between him and Bisu. I think uh, Bisu is as invincible as always in versus Zerg. Well, not always. There were periods when he was slumping a bit against Zerg, but uh, strong against Zerg recently, certainly. Whereas I think Fantasy is more well rounded in all his matchups right now. Uh, so Fantasy looks like he's bringing out his SEV to scout. Surely he's not thinking about putting down a 12cc. Okay. Or a 14cc, rather. Okay, he's not doing anything. He's putting out barracks. Um, so he's just putting out forward racks, rather. And he's getting his refinery now, so he's not going anything crazy. It doesn't look like Shuttle is going to do anything crazy either, putting down his gateway and his assimilator, not electing to scout, neither player uh, deciding to scout right now. Not sure whether that's uh, particularly wise. I think it's always good to get some scouting information on your opponent. This is. Um, this looks like New Empire of the Sun, uh, by the way. It's, uh, it's this um, four player map. So, it looks like uh, nothing else too exciting is going on at this moment. A probe scout going out now for Shadow. He's going to find Fantasy second. Factory going down for Fantasy, so it looks like he's probably going to go Factory into Expansion. And surely the Cybernetics core is almost finished for Shadow. So we'll see whether Shadow wants to try for some sort of early rush, some sort of tech rush or not. No, he's spinning his Cybernetics core, getting the range upgrade for his Dragoon, so nothing crazy going to come from Shadow. This looks like it's turning out to be a, a fairly standard game so far. Neither player trying anything crazy. Fantasy it does have a bit of a reputation and this marine just chasing away Shadow Scouting Probe. Fantasy can have reputation for willing to do crazy things, and I think that's good. Always good for a player to have this reputation that he's unpredictable and you know, borderline insane. The I mean some would say that the line between genius and insanity is very thin. Fine line separating genius and in and insanity. Uh, in the case of many of the great players, you certainly feel that's true. Um, Boxer, for instance, is he insane? Or is he, well, insane, that's really what he is, but he's insane in such a great way. He's insane genius, that's what he is. Uh, I think most people can agree on that. Oh, and Shadow's scouting probe getting denied again by a Marine. So, it looks like Shadow's just going to put down his expansion. Fantasy's probably got his building, his command center. I don't, I don't see it building anywhere, though. Unless he's opted to go for two factories. Ah, so, so this is not a factory in the expansion. Fantasy's opted to go for two factory early push. He's probably researching mines, going to get tank, and then start pumping vultures from both factories. Uh, I th like this move by Fantasy. This isn't like a direct build or a win or anything. Shadow should, in theory, be able to hold this off. He's got a scouting probe still there, so he's going to at least... S uh, well, he's not going to say anything too weird with this this first group of medic marine I mean marines and a tank that doesn't give him idea about the two uh, factories robotics being now going down for shuttle so with the probe killed 
I think Fantasy is going to get ready to move out soon once he has about th three or so vultures. Actually, he's electing to choose to build some more tanks from his first factory, so maybe he's actually researching Siege. I don't know. Fantasy sending out his vulture to scout around the map a little bit. He looks like he might be checking for proxies or just uh, in general scouting around. Um, I mean, it's always good to use your units to check to make sure there's nothing coming from the opponent that's unexpected. He's also putting down spider mines, so yes, his first research was mines. Uh, Fantasy sending out uh, SEV now. Looks like he's going to get expansion now, so he's not going to push, uh, interestingly enough. In which case, I'm not sure why exactly he went for two factories. He must surely be getting ready to push soon. Okay, with three tanks, uh, he's pushing out now with four marines, three tanks, a few vultures. He's got some mines laid out already. Let's see how good Shadow's defense of his front is. He's got four dragoons, surely a few more uh, coming out soon from his gateway. He's got two, and with uh, excellent micro, he should be fine. Uh, the one thing he needs to be careful about is not to get his dragoons pinned down in a corner. That happens, and in fantasy, he starts slaying mines. That's that's pretty much over. He's got seven dragoons, it looks like. It should be enough to hold this force off. He's pushing out a bit with his dragoons. He's going to see that fantasy is coming in for this push. So it looks like dragoons are engaging some marines. Uh, fantasy is trying to flank with his vultures, not having too much success with his vultures. The vulture terrorists putting down mines. Some of the mines are getting killed. None of them are really going off, but fantasy is Tanks are doing massive damage to Shadow's Dragoons, killing most of the Dragoons. There's four left, two, three left. Uh, Shadow forced to pour, pull his probes out for defense, and some of these probes might die to the tanks, but Dragoons now chasing down and picking away at the tanks. Fantasy's push has been stopped. He's lost all his support units, and he's not going to risk his tanks in this sort of engagement. Uh, five Dragoons, it looks like, for Shadow. He's keeping his probes in a defensive position, putting down two shield batteries. That's going to help his defense. Uh, looks like these Dragoons still engaging in vultures, not having really any luck with his mine placements. Shadow is bleeding probes, though. Uh, he can afford some losses, but he's lost quite a few probes now. He's got a loss, maybe even up to a dozen probes. More vultures coming, laying down mines. There's an observer there. These mines are not going to bother Shadow at all. The one thing I'm not sure I agree with is... is Sending the probes during that second attack coming by fantasy. I think he would have been fine just holding his defense. I guess the one thing is Shadow doesn't know whether fantasy is committed to a full out rush or whether he's got an expansion or not. Turned out fantasy put down his uh, second command center. So, so Shadow was a bit paranoid about that. He didn't want to lose, but I felt he did lose a few more probes than was probably necessary. And now Shadow, if a large force of dragoons out, he's going to be fine. And the momentum will likely shift soon to Shadow being able to launch pressure, launch an attack on Fantasy's base and and apply pressure now. Uh, looks like Fantasy still mining up with these vultures and an observer is scouting out everything that Fantasy is doing in his base. Fantasy's got four tanks at the front. Shadow looks like is pushing out with some dragoons. A group of dragoons at the front and a second group at his main. He's decided to put down his second expansion now. So responding to his uh, successful defense by placing down another expansion to get uh, ahead economically. Although with three bases on two, that's uh, mostly even. It might be a slight advantage to Protoss. Fantasy moving vultures around constantly in the middle of the map, uh, trying to see whether there's anything going on and laying down a few mines here and there. Uh, third command center going down for Fantasy here in an Arbiter Tribunal will come out soon for Shuttle. So he's going for Arbiter play, nothing too crazy. Uh, Arbiter Tribunal going down right now for Shuttle. He's got plenty of Dragoons. He probably needs to start getting a few Zealots soon enough and researching speed on that. Um, Fantasy's limited to just a few Vultures now moving around the map. Um, not really accomplishing too much with these. I guess he's hoping to try to catch some probes that are transferring. Uh, so he might be able to accomplish this. However, 
there is a pylon wall protecting Shadow's third base from any sort of vulture attack. So um, I'm not sure that Fantasy is going to accomplish too much here. He's lost most of his vultures. No, all of his vultures in the middle, it looks like. And so Shuto now feels confident. He's got a Shuto with him. He's got some Dragoons. He's pushing out a bit. Maybe he's going to try for some sort of attack on Fantasy's defenses here. Fantasy has tanks, unescorted tanks. Uh, this is actually a reasonably good opportunity to attack if Shuto could mass up a few more Zealots. But it doesn't really look like he has many Zealots with him. Mostly Dragoons. And Dragoons against tanks are n is, is not the best combination. Shuto moving his Dragoons to Fantasy's third base, managing to force Fantasy to lift, but Fantasy with his tanks will probably be able to get positioned soon enough and actually put his command center down and start mining from this expansion soon. But every second that Shuto can delay this expansion is always good. Um, considering that he's not going to have to lose any units, just keeping them in the area is sufficient to uh, force Fantasy to advance slowly towards his new expansion. Shuttle looks like he's getting ready to put down his third expansion. Shuttle bringing out a few more Dragoons. This time is not going to do anything. Fantasy's got plenty of tanks. I think Shuttle needs to back off now. He's trying to pick out some of these SEVs, but... Oh, it looks like he's dropped a few Zealots here but not able to accomplish too much. Fantasy's got some unseized tanks. Fantasy also sneaking a vulture into Shadow's main. He's going to see everything that's going on. Maybe he's even going to be able to kill a few of these probes. Shadow needs to move Dragoon over now. That vulture's got two kills already. I do not know why Shadow is not moving any units over there to deal with this vulture. That vulture's already got four kills. And, you know, kind of sloppy here by Shadow. And finally, using a Dragoon to kill that vulture. Uh, he might actually have built his gateway in such a way that he's blocked one of his dragoons. Eh? That'd be kind of silly. It doesn't matter too much at this point in the game, but but a little mistake like that is at least embarrassing. Looks like Shadow is putting down another expansion at the 11 o'clock position. He's going to have some tannins up to defend. He's not going to worry too much about that. Shadow thus far playing a reasonable, a standard PVT game, not really making too many mistakes. Fantasy picking away at this pylon here at the 2 o'clock base. If he manages to kill it, he's going to have a chance to break through. Ooh, looks like Shuttle bring some Dragoons out to intercept these Vultures, killing a good number of them. Fantasy spotting the 11 o'clock base, but it's not going to do much with these two cannons there to protect it. Uh, Shuttle's been pretty conscientious this game so far about clearing out the mines. Uh, Shuttle bringing out a Shuttle. Maybe he's going to try to get the 12 o'clock expansion now. Can't really tell at this point. Um, Fantasy proceeding in a safe uh, manner. Also not really making too many mistakes. Not having any luck with his vultures aside for the one that got into the main. I think Fantasy is hoping to do more damage. He can't allow Shuttle to keep putting up these new expansions unharassed. Researching EMP there, it looks like, at his um, science facility to counter the Arbiters. Uh, looks like Shadow is transferring some drones over to the 11 o'clock position, and he's got some troops moving in the middle of the map. Um, it looks like Fantasy is still mostly in a defensive posture, not really ready to push out soon. Shadow going to grab the 12 o'clock expansion. Uh, and Shadow's also got a observer cleverly at the 6 o'clock position to see whether Fantasy is going to go for some sort of expansion there. Uh, looks like their respective mains are probably mostly mined out at this point. Shuttle looks like he's trying to go for an attack at the, the 8 o'clock base. I am not so sure this is wise. There are so many supply depots and minerals blocking these zealots. The zealots are doing absolutely nothing right now. Now we have Shuttle dropping some zealots on top of these tanks here. Some uh, stasis going down. And Shuttle looks like is going to bulldoze his way through here and force the command center to lift. Even so, uh, he's killed quite a few of the tanks of Fancy. I think Fancy is still going to be fine. He's got more forces that he can send